Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Bert's Bike. Today, I tackle the chain adjustment on my W800 Cafe. I've never done anything like this, so buckle up and let's jump in together. Here comes the disclaimer. I am not a professional mechanic. This video is just intended to document my journey as a motorcyclist and some of the projects and maintenance things that I encounter along the way. As always, if you feel uncomfortable doing any adjustment on your own motorcycle, please take it to a certified mechanic and shop. So here's what you're gonna need for this. You're gonna need your um, torque wrench that'll go to 70, 74 newton meters of torque. You're gonna need uh, 27 millimeter hex. I used the brake bar because I don't like loosening with the torque wrench. Um, you're going to need uh, a 19 inch socket, another wrench to hold down the other side when you tighten it, some form of measurement, even though you have tick marks, I like to measure at multiple points, and uh, something to get the carter pin off. I use chose needle nose pliers. And also two 12 millimeter wrenches. All right, let's get started. All right, I've never had to do this before, so I'm gonna be consulting my owner's manual. So the W800 regular version, the center stand, and the cafe version does not. So you're either gonna have to uh, jack up your back wheel um, to get it to, to roll, or you're gonna just have to roll your bike and take some different measurements. On your chain so i've already done this but i'll just do it again so i'm going to pull it down to where it's right on that three mark center bolt so right on that three there i'm going to push up see where i land so one more time right on three going up a little bit past the mid range point when i pull down it goes to three and then when i push up it goes all the way to like two and three quarters right here. So it should be ideally uh, anywhere from one inch, one inch to about um, 1.4 inches. So somewhere in below the halfway point here. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it, but I'll check it one more time in a different spot just to make sure I'm not checking on a loose spot on the chain. So the link is, um, starting right about here and it's going to right about here so i need to be within this range here um you can check it just from the bottom of the chain to the just use the bottom but it, you just need to pick a fixed point and check it against there okay so i'm supposed to do these lock nuts first so this is a this is a 12 seems like and this is a Yeah, so the other side is a well, it's not an eleven. Looks like it's a twelve as well. Okay, so that was very loose. It's loose now as you can see. Let's do the other side. Okay, and these weren't very tight, they were just snug. Alright, now we gotta take the uh cotter pin out. And I'll just use some needle nose pliers and bend these and pull this out. There it is. Put that where you're going to know where it is. Okay, I took a measurement um from flat side to flat side and it came up at about 27 in between 26 and 27 so i got a 27 inch drive here from harbor freight and it works it's got just a little bit of play cool all right so now we gotta loosen this righty tighty lefty loosey
Ooh. There we go. Let's loosen it up. Yeah, pretty loose. Do it by hand now. Cool. Okay, so it says if the chain is too loose, which it is, turn this adjuster out. So we'll see what happens. Okay, good move. I did one quarter turn. Okay, do on this again. I think this is. Quarter turn. Take another measurement here. It's about it's about a millimeter, millimeter and a half from the hash mark. And for reference, looks like that's about eleven millimeters on this side. Right at about 11 as well. So now it looks like it's within a spec. Let me do the adjustment here and see if you can see that. Keep going down. Right at the three mark. Going up. Right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's about right where I want it. And I'm not applying terrible effort, but I'm pushing pretty, you know, firmly. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now what I got to do is I got to hold this steady while tightening this lock nut. All right. All right. I'm going to spin this till it's in my hand. And get my... Uh... I'll tighten my hand there. All right. So here I'm at 70. And I need to turn it to... I'm pretty happy with 70. I don't know if it needs to really be more than that, but I'm going to go to 72, right under 73. Tighten that down. Okay. One thing that's happening is that you got to hold this nut down because every time I turn that, it's just spinning. All right, I'm going to hold on the other side. Sixty foot pounds. Okay. Even at sixty foot pounds, the other side was still spinning, so I'm at seventy now. Seventy foot pounds. At seventy. Pretty happy with that. I'll go to seventy. Seventy-two. Pop. Good to go. So you can see what I was doing on the other side. This is a uh, a 19 here. That goes in there. So remember to hold this while you torque the other side because it'll just keep on spinning. All right, so the last thing we got to do is put the cotter pin in there. And you can see I have a little bit of play there. So in the book it says to keep going, I think. We'll see. So I didn't feel comfortable tightening this to the full 73 I think 70 71 is pretty good um, because if you can see here I would have blocked the hole on that and said to loosen it and tighten it to the next one but I didn't want to go past and go all the way through to risk over tightening so all right so I'm gonna put the cotter pin in now and uh, it says to replace this I didn't, but you should probably not do what I say. I'm not a professional mechanic, but I feel pretty confident that this is gonna be fine. So do it at your own risk. All right, so that's uh, hold the top while you do this so it doesn't flail around and the side up, do the same with the other side. Okay, checked everything. Everything's snug, check them again. Uh, make sure my hash marks are right. Here's dead on, a little under halfway on the one, two, third mark. Here we go. On the one, two, third mark, a little under halfway there. I'm gonna double check the chain here. Yep. 
Well, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in today. I hope um, this helped you out on how to do this chain maintenance. This is my first uh, adjustment ever. So um, yeah, if I can do it, so can you. If you have any other tips that would maybe help me, uh, I'd be open to hearing those too. So please leave your comments, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you.